Welcome to Minecraft Liquid Physics 101. My name is Slackathor. Today we are going to uh, work on a large infinite pool. And then after we're done with that, we are going to uh, show you the basic premise behind a boat elevator. Okay, so first we've got, you know, this area, uh, 9 by 9 You've seen it in the, some of the other videos. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add water to each one of the squares along this, this edge here. Alright, so, go. Okay, so now you see that we've got our whole, all our water flowing in one direction down toward the other side. We're going to go fill our buckets back up. go to the other side, we're going to do the same thing. One bucket of water for every block. Okay, so now that you see what we've got, we're, the stream's coming in from both sides. Uh, and meeting in the still water in the middle. Okay, so we're just going to need some more water. Alright, and we're going to go in here and we're going to attach water to the blocks at either end of this middle screen. Like so. Like so. And then what we're going to want to do is start filling in all these little dips in the water. Okay, and eventually the water will just straighten out and be a large infinite pool. You don't have to fill in all of the dips, but I'm not sure how it exactly works. Just if you keep filling in the dips, they will uh, eventually all smooth out the entire area and you have yourself a large infinite pool like so okay so now I'm going to pause and we're going to go down to the uh, area where we're going to make a uh, water elevator or a boat elevator okay now we're back and if you go on YouTube and search for Minecraft uh, boat elevator you're gonna get a lot of results and they're pretty good but what they usually do is they've hidden all the mechanics inside of their building, uh, you know, to make it look good. And it's hard to tell what they're doing in the video to make this happen. So we're going to show you right here. Uh, I've built this little structure that can hold some water. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make the infinite pool inside of it. Okay. Just like we did in the other. Okay, infinite pool. Right? Now we're gonna go back down to the bottom. And we're going to see that I've dug a little pit out underneath of it, and that's because in uh, one of the earlier videos we showed that if water doesn't have any chance to go downhill at all, it will just flow in a straight line downward and act like a wall. So now we're going to uh, get our shovel on here. Oh my goodness, I don't have a shovel. Hold on a second. I'm going to pause while I go get a daggone shovel. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've gotten my shovel now. It's, I had to do it. It's the one piece of criticism I've gotten from uh, people about my videos was that I was digging with a bucket and they didn't want to see that. So uh, here I am with my shovel. I'm going to dig out these blocks underneath of the pool. You can do this from the top. It doesn't matter. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. On chickens. Okay, perfect. Keep on going here. Picking out these things. Okay, 
okay, and like I said, this is just a, a basic premise of how these things work. It's uh, nothing fancy, I assure you. Okay, but we just want to see how to make one of these things work. And once they do work, well, what do they do? Alright. Okay. Now, you may notice I don't have a pit dug on the very end of these. Oh, that's a little bit. That's the chicken head ain't to do that. Uh, I don't have a pit dug on the end of these. That's because the water has one chance, one choice. It wants to flow backwards down into that hole, so it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. And then, oh good, chicken. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to fill up the sides. I just wanted you to go see what was going on. We're going to fill up the sides here with some more dirt. around the other side and fill that up with some dirt. Okay, so now we've got this, this wall of water encased between two walls of dirt. And what happens when we go inside of it is that we can swim up and voila, elevate. Okay. Oops. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and show you, well, why on earth would you want to build that when you can just climb some steps? So I'm going to pause again and I'll be right back. Okay, so again, this isn't the grandest setup, but it is a larger scale model of what we just saw. Okay. Come on over here. You'll see it is two blocks wide. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you why that's not necessarily a good thing, or it might just happen here in the video, but it's really tall. It goes up to the build limit in the sky. So what we're going to do, we're going to take, I made three boats because this thing doesn't always work. We're going to take one of our boats, and we're going to put them in the water. Okay, because it's only too wide, it doesn't really fit. So we'll push it in there. We're going to hop in. The water's going to take us. Throw us into the elephant. Oh, and we lost our bed. Okay, we're going to pause and come back. Okay, try number two. We'll do this again. This works most of the time. But I guess that's why you see that you don't want to build it just too wide. Alright, here we go. Ride number two. Looking good, looking good. Alright, then we're going to just launch out of it. Woo! land on top of this tree, about yay far away from our water elevator. Okay, now we are at a uh, slightly bigger version of uh, what we just built over there. Um, what this one is, it's not as tall as the other one, but it's a lot longer. So what what happens is we just go to the top of it instead of uh, actually shooting out of the side of it. This is more for just getting up quickly, okay? So I made it five wide, too, so that I don't destroy my boat. But it's the exact same premise as the, the little one we built. So we're going to go up here. Pop out of the top. Okay, and we're going to get up here. You can see where I messed up with my bucket a little bit over here. But as long as we stay in the middle, we're cool. We're going to kind of just cruise on over to this uh, little canal system I made and show you why one of these things would be useful. Corner here. Oh, we're going to lose our bed. Nope, we survived. We Now, you can fall from any height in a boat, so... Don't be scared of falling in a boat. You can fall under dry land, or water, or anything in a boat, maybe except lava, without taking any damage. Alright, that is it for our Minecraft water elevator video, infinite pool video. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.